hidden messages are all around us, but we never see them. The job of a cryptographer is to uncover secret messages by breaking complicated codes. Today I'm going to try hiding my deepest secret right under a cryptographer's nose. I hope my secret smells pleasant. What does a cryptographer do? So a cryptographer looks at data, and that data is encrypted with mathematical algorithms. So we look at that data to see if it's safe or if it's not. So we employ different analytical techniques uh, to try to break the message or to show that, hey, this cryptography is actually doing its job, it's secure. So it's not just breaking the math, it's finding flaws in how they actually wrote the code to implement the math. I hate math. I think I got a C in math pretty much every year of my life. I doubt that happened to me. What was the most dangerous job you've ever had? Where I'm at now, at uh, Freedom of the Press Foundation, we've built a tool called SecureDrop. Uh, which is a platform that news organizations set up so that whistleblowers and others who want to share tips and things with really high stakes that other nation states or governments or crime syndicates might want to access, this is a platform for them to submit these stories to news organizations. Just the general danger of building a system with those types of audiences in mind where they could face prison time or you know, exile or, or even death if something goes wrong. Are you good at solving puzzles? Absolutely. Fantastic. Now I'm going to challenge you. I've hidden my deepest secret in a code. And if you are able to solve my puzzle, you will be revealing my deepest secret to the entire world. I will do my best to expose it. I'm going to give you 30 minutes. Everything you need is in the room upstairs. Okay. Good luck. What the cryptographer didn't know was that I spent the last two weeks planning the perfect strategy to keep my secrets safe forever. First, I developed a series of brutally difficult puzzles to test his skills, drawing inspiration from ancient history and my extreme addiction to escape rooms. I wanted to make the room with my puzzles in it as scary as possible, so I decorated it like a birthday party. A birthday party where the windows are blacked out, the pinata is empty, and a clown costume is stapled to the wall. Next, I created a devious distraction. Every two minutes that pass with my secret remaining undiscovered, the cryptographer will be hit in the face with a mayonnaise pie. This should annoy the bejesus out of him. The more time he spends pissed off, the less time he has to expose my strange past. Finally, I hired a professional mime to stand in the corner of the room during this challenge. To make matters more interesting, I told the mime my deepest secret. In college, The cryptographer will be allowed to skip my marathon of odd challenges if he can make the mime spill my secret beans. What are the rules of engagement with this mime? You can do whatever you want to this mime. I will say he may or may not be very ticklish. But if you cannot get the mime to talk, you have to focus on solving all of my puzzles. Fair. If the mime talks and breaks their code of silence, they may never work again. I really hope this mime isn't ready to retire today. What percentage positive are you going to succeed? I will say 85%. Good. I'm already in your head, baby. <laughs> That's the best way I function. With me in your head? Well, with the adversary in my head. Now that I've made the cryptographer uncomfortable, it's time to start my impossible puzzles. The challenge begins in three, two, one. First, the mime will hand the cryptographer a note which reads, Mike shifted his lunch three minutes so he could have a Caesar salad. Yixe ifdek ulk tifkolt. What does that mean? All right, so right now I'm just trying to figure out what his code might be. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking around to see if there's any, anything of use. When the timer begins, I'll be outside preemptively celebrating my victory by calmly shucking corn. <laughs> All right, currently just turning over, looking for some clues. Puzzle as it is. All right, here's an alphabet shift code. So I'm going to do three minutes. Let's try to solve it. Mayonnaise pie. The three underlined words were shifted, three, and Caesar. The cryptographer should realize that in the strange vinyl sentence, I shifted the letters three places over in the alphabet using a Caesar cipher, said to be an ancient method of hiding secret messages. Moving those letters three places down the alphabet will spell black light on window. Black light, looking for a black light. Cool, found a black light, solved the puzzle. 
got tie all over me. Once the cryptographer picks up the black light on the windowsill, he must find invisible ink somewhere in the room. Or he can waste time hosting a black light dance party by himself, which is something that I've never done. Uh, looking for something that will appear. I'm having no luck. Written on the far corner of the ceiling, an invisible chalk message reads, my favorite book is 666 and my favorite number is dictionary. Not sure what this is for yet. The first part of the puzzle was pretty easy. I'm gonna say that I'm over analyzing the black light part. Oh, there we go. My favorite book, 666. My favorite number, it's dictionary. Here we go. So, so I found the black light clue. So, so my favorite number is 666, so page 666, which I found by shining the black light. One of the many books on the floor is a dictionary. On page 666 is a note which reads, it says, please write a haiku about pizza. Call my favorite pizzeria and sing in your haiku. You can convince them to the cashier to sing your haiku back to you. Only then will you get your next clue. Now the cryptographer will have to serenade a total stranger with his feelings about pizza. I would look up the definition of haiku to make sure I have the format correct. So it's a form of 575 as far as syllables. syllables. But now I'm gonna call Mike's favorite pizzeria. So I'm on a mission, I need your help. If the cryptographer convinces the pizzeria cashier to sing his haiku back to him, he may continue his quest for my deepest secret. So I need you to sing a haiku back to me that I'm going to tell you for me to proceed to my next challenge. Uh, if you do that, he says he'll come in, buy everybody pizza. What, what you trying to, you're gonna place an order for pizza? Yeah, we're gonna place an order for pizza, but that's what I have to convince you to do, is sing this haiku back. Why wow. sing you back the haiku? Yeah, as strange as it sounds. I'm getting mayonnaise pies in the face. I've had like a dozen, so I can really use your help. So the only way I- Mayonnaise pie. There's another one. The only way I get to the next challenge is for you to sing the haiku. And there's no other pizza place he likes except for yours. All right, say the first line with me. I like cheese pizza. I like Pizza is the greatest food. Ham pizza is great. The cashier will provide this instruction. On the floor is a bluish green vase which contains a ping pong ball. When the cryptographer gets the ping pong ball, he will read the small clue I've written on it. Okay, looks like we have next piece pop the rib balloon. Inside that red balloon, I've hidden a small paper with this text. For the zodiac symbols, it's also a bomb. So then we gotta figure out what this code is. The cryptographer should realize that this is a font everyone knows, but no one has ever used. I'm speaking, of course, about wingdings. In the room, there is a laptop he may use to convert the symbols into English. The sentence translates to, Mike's secret is on the tip of the mime's tongue. Looking here for other clues. <laughs> I saw the mailbox icon, so I'm just gonna see if my chance. As you know, many words have double meanings. Do you know that some words have double meanings? Sure. Great. A tongue can also be found on a shoe. Therefore, my deepest secret has been hidden on the mime's shoe tongue this whole time. If the cryptographer reaches into the mime's shoe tongue, pulls out my embarrassing secret, and reads it for the entire internet to hear, I will lose and be humiliated forever. Time. 
The cryptographer failed, which is awesome for me and pretty stinky for him. Well, I lost, but uh, I was making more ground as I went along. So how much of this was cryptography and how much of this was just plain weird? I would say the majority of it was plain weird. The only person who knows that secret is behind us. Yes, and I have an idea it has something to do with shucking corn of a different kind. One final question. Do you, yeah. guys, have, do you guys have shampoo? We've got shampoo. <laughs> yeah, it's mayonnaise flavor. It's raw. While you were trying to discover my deepest secret, I was going to investigate your deepest secret, but I decided shucking corn was more fun. <laughs> that, that's the, the rumor. What do you do for fun?